We originally were not uh, farmers, packers, or marketers. My dad and my mom both came from Italy, so we moved here in 1946. And my dad was 47 years old and never farmed in his life. But he was a very hard worker, a very intelligent man, and uh, little by little we progressed from packing under a cherry tree by hand. We went to a, a, to a little shed there on the home place. We used to pack all by hand, double face. You got to place every cherry in the box. And the, I think the ladies used to get 50 cents a box. Good lady maybe make 25, 30 boxes a day. So from there, we uh, progressed to a, a larger shed. I came back from college and I bought a, a, a machine that, that had a cluster cutter that cut the clusters. And we started packing with a three lane machine. With a lot of luck, some quite a bit of hard work, we are now the largest fresh cherry packer in California. The technology has grown so fast that it makes me wonder how we even were able to do it back 50, 60 years ago. We've had an optic sizer uh, for a number of years on our Rainiers, and we're quite happy with it. And then we finally decided we think we should get an optic sizer for the red cherries also. We looked around, we looked around at different places, and uh, we felt that um, Compaq would probably meet our needs now and in the future better than any other company. Uh, obviously, they got a great track record in apples in the Northwest. Our, we also have a pre sizer for apples, and all the software and equipment is from Compaq also. It seemed like probably better to have a compact uh, software for the cherries too. The person that learns on the cherries knows on the apple and vice versa. Plus, we realized also that maybe compact did not have the experience, but I felt that they would catch up and pass you know, the, comp the competition. And that's why we hung our hats on, on uh, compact's record to uh, buy one of their compact units. The uh, defect sorting on softness, spurs and doubles, can't be any better. It cannot be, it's phenomenal. In fact, you get a whole bunch, you might find one or two good ones in there. And believe me, the ladies take out a lot more than one or two good ones when they're sorting out spurs and doubles, or even soft, soft without a doubt. I, I checked the soft belt many, many times and out of a whole pile of cherries, maybe you find one. I don't think I ever found two that was actually good. Uh, there's a big advantage in the, the, even the color thing versus other, you know, non-optic sizer. Because the color, you know, there's a lot of times you say, oh, that's, that's kind of greenish, you know, pinkish, we'll put it with the brine. But with this, with the color sorting capability, you can actually take out the ones that are just kind of borderline. And when you put them all together in the box, they're all uniform, you don't have any of those real white ones in there. They look very nice and they're very, a box that you can sell. There's no question, it's sizing color is it's, it's excellent, but the softness and the, um, and the spurs and doubles is excellent. Forty percent labor saving on the sorting. And I think here we have a lot less people than we normally would have on the other machine. And I think as we get things more perfected, it's going to increase that number two. Optic sizing, especially like on firmness, but even, even the color angle of it, even the sizing of it. Uh, if I was a buyer, I said, hey, is that box over there? It was optic sizing. Ooh, we got rid of most of the, the soft fruit. God, look how uniform that looks. Now, not checkerboard. And the firmness, and look at the sizing, how exact it is. Hey, I want to buy that box. And I think that that's exactly what's going to happen, and maybe even be a price difference until everybody comes up to that level. I would say in the next two to three years, I would think that most packers are going to have to change because they will not be able to compete in the, in the marketplace. So I think the future of optic size and insurance is huge, huge. You know, as far as putting their best foot forward, we cannot say anything more a compliment to Compact. They've been here in force. They've tried their very best, everything under the sun to make it work better, uh, which we expected that and it came true. The service, the backup, the help, you know, you, 
Right, that's right. You can't ask for any more. They, they've done everything they possibly can, and that's what you look for too um, in a company. You know that their backup, uh, the solid previous success, and uh, we had Compact Software already in the Apples and in the, in the Rainiers, and we feel very comfortable with Compact as a company. And the, the personnel, of the company, they're they're very very good. You know, we're very happy with Compact. Yeah, we, the next time we're going to go with again with Compact.